Namaskara to one and all again. The following Shubhashita was one of my favorites during my high school days. Whenever I used to feel tired, lazy and uh, not willing to do my homework, this was one which reminded me always and it kept me on my toes. The Shubhashita goes this way. Alasyam hi manushya naam shari rasto mahan ripuhu nasti udhyama samo banduhu kurvano navasidati. It means that laziness is one of the biggest enemy of a human being. When nothing can be compared, nothing can be at par to work. Work is the dearest, dearest nearest relative. The same thing was told again by one of the famous Vachanakaras, Basavanna. He said, Kayakave Kailasa. It means work is worship. This reminds me again of a story of our dear Shamu. Shamu was a slothful youth who spent most of his time lazing around. His father was worried about Shamu's future. The father decided to take Shamu to his uncle in order to teach him a trade. Now Shamu was not too keen because he was happy, go lucky man. So he reluctantly went along not knowing that his uncle was a notorious thief. The uncle promised to teach his noble profession to his nephew. One fine morning, he took Shamu around to steal a horse. Shamu felt it was better to buy one which was not given a nod from his uncle. They chanced upon a merchant resting under a tree. The uncle went ahead and slowly removed the saddle of the horse and led the horse away. He started to jump around holding the saddle which in turn woke the merchant. The merchant was confused with the commotion. He, he didn't know what to do. So Samu's uncle skillfully told him that he was none other than the horse himself which had been under spell all these long years ago and how he had served a numerous number of uh, people. He even, went along, he even went ahead and said it was only due to the merchant's kindness to him the spell was broken. The merchant was now confused about what Shamu's uncle had told him. He kept thinking how to get rid of, of you know, calculating on how much he, he was feeding the horse and how much he used to feed a fully, fully grown man now. So, he just went ahead and told Shamu's uncle that he was free. And even he even told him to take the saddle along with him. Now Shamu's uncle proudly showed his nephew what his cleverness had done. They took the horse home and the uncle went ahead to rest. He told Shamu to be careful while tending to the horse because he was, was on a lookout from the king's men. Shamu was tending to the horse but unable to do so. Our poor Shamu was kicked around by the horse. At that moment, Shamu started yelling and say, telling the horse that he was not the one who stole it. It was his uncle. The uncle who was resting inside the house was terrified. He thought his time is up. The king's men, the soldiers, should be right away at the door and he'll be caught. So he ran out of the house as if something has happened. Unfortunately for Shamu's uncle's fate, the king's uh, parade was just... The king's men and the king himself was just passing through the house. And they suddenly saw a man rush out, out of the house and they thought he must be the thief and the soldiers were sent to catch him. Now the king is happy to have caught the notorious thief who was on the run all these times. Shamu's uncle didn't want to be the only one who was to be caught and he was very angry at Shamu for leading him to the prison. So he quickly told this one more man, his, um, you know, his partner in crime who was right at, the, um, at his house. And he even warned them that he's as slippery as a eel. When um, Shamu was, uh, when soldiers came upon to attack, uh, you know, to catch Shamu, Shamu ran as fast as he could as a gazelle to reach back to his village. His father was worried why Shamu came back panting. Shamu said, 
not to send him again back to his uncle any time. To keep up his to his promise, Shamu worked day and night. You know, to a certain to an extent that he worked a ten men's job of work. Now Shamu's father is was really happy to have uh, to have seen his son being such a wonderful uh, boy altogether. He had no complaints now. So this, what does this? Uh, this leads to Abhishekashita again. It says, "Alasyam hi manushyanam, sharirasto mahan ripuhu, nasti udhyama samo banduhu, kuruvano navasidati." The Shubhashita is taken up from the Niti Shataka. Thank you, one and all. Namaskara to one and all again for listening to this story. Namaskara. Thank you.